my name is Amy Nason. I am the librarian at Fairwood. And today we're gonna make DIY ping pong launchers. Okay, so in your bag, you should have a ping pong ball, part of a bottle with a cap, and they are, this is pre-cut and then this has a hole already in it for you. We have a wooden bead. We have two rubber bands, some string, and a piece of duct tape. What you will need but do not have in your bag is, um, are some scissors, because you'll need to cut your tape more than likely, and then also a safe place to launch. Uh, just wanted to let you know these are uh, first come first serve we do have a limited quantity available and the idea for this craft comes from frugal fun boys fru frugal fun for boys dot com slash make ping pong ball launcher okay so let's get started you're gonna take your cut piece and you are going to crisscross your rubber bands this will already be pre-cut for you. So if you look at it, you can see that you have a cut here, top and bottom, and then the two sides. Depending on how big your bottle is, you may need to wrap the rubber band around twice. Um, you may need only one rubber band. So we'll see what this one takes. And when I say crisscross, I mean you'll have one rubber band going one way and the other rubber band going the other way. So I will tighten it up, but just to give you a visual real quick, that's what it should look like. And if you look, with this one in particular, if you try to use one rubber band and cross it, it gets too squished and you don't have that circle anymore and that circle is important. So, as I mentioned, you might have to do something a little different. So with this one, we are doing a combination. And I'm gonna string this one right back through here. Let's see, that's not gonna work. So it's always good to troubleshoot. So this one, we have, it's pretty tight. Um, we moved it further down on the bottle. So with this one, we're just gonna pull it across like this, and whenever we tape it, we'll tape over that part. So that's not a big deal. Okay, before we tape it though, we need to tie our string so we're gonna pull it through the bottle and tie it to the crisscross of the rubber band so we have rubber band crisscrossing on the top and we're going to tie it I'm doing it twice uh, because I want to make sure that it stays pull it really tight okay so we have that there. Then we are going to string, pull the string through the cap. So make sure the cap is like this because you want to be able to screw it on the bottom and make it tight. Okay, so we should look like this. We are also going to tie the wooden bead at the end. We're gonna do the same thing because we don't want it to come loose. So we're gonna do a double knot and just pull it tight to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Okay, so we did that. Now the tape. So you should have tape 
on a piece of wax paper. My tape is going to be significantly longer because of the size of the bottle that I have. And you may want to pull slowly because it looks like my duct tape is sticking a little bit to the wax. So you see, just pull a little bit slowly, that way you don't break it. Um, you don't take the wax paper with you. You will need to measure about how far across it will go. So about like this, we will cut. You're gonna fold it on the inside. Make sure it is flush with the bottle because if it's not flush with the bottle, your ping pong ball won't launch properly. So you'll keep doing that. And then you can launch your ping pong. So I hope that this has been fun for you. Um, stay tuned and continue to see what Grab and Goes to come up with next. And I hope you have a great day.